Hi, Hi guys! Jake and Marissa here for more live reactions. This and time it's live live. Live live. We are actually just letting it go. We got five minutes and we want to say to everybody, Happy, Happy Pi Day! day. Yeah, Timmy to... Turner's having problems with his dog or something. Yeah, yeah. Happy Pi Day uh, for, for 3, 14, 15 for those of you who live in the United States where we do things like I that. I think Canada might do it that way too. Probably. Sure. I don't know. But all I, what I do know is that, you know, this was the ultimate pie day because it, it was the, you know, 2015, so we had 926 as well. So we got quiche. We have Which some, is pie made of eggs. Yes, we have this spinach and egg quiche for, for our, uh, our nice little live Breakfast. reaction food. We also, for later, we got ourselves some lemon meringue pie. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, for dinner... I got myself a little personal chicken pot pie. I hate this. Uh, I also got myself a little mini apple pie. And for snacking throughout the day, of course, Drake's fruit pies. He's already been at those. I may have had three already today. They're yummy. I like them. They taste like childhood. Okay. In in the good way, not in the, you know, evil, uh, draining kind of way. I'm not looking to eat your childhood. I'm looking to eat my childhood. We... Okay, let's serve up some, some quiche. Um... Well, I'm serving up some quiche. Why don't you talk about... Oh, yes. Um, we do have a new Patreon subscriber. Or patron. Why do I keep wanting to say subscriber? I don't know. I don't know. We do have a new Patreon patron this week, Cameron Shields. Also, we found out that Stephen's last name is Nisbet. Stephen Nisbet. Yes. From, um, that would be Stephen No Name from last week. Yes. Well, look, Dino Charge. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a commercial, though. They're showing off the Dino Spike and the Dino Morphers, and there's explosions. It's very exciting. So, yes, I am going for the I'm going for the full-on pie experience today. I'm eating nothing but pie today. I've already eaten pretzels, so I'm screwed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm eating quiche. I'm, I'm oh. eating, you know, the chicken pot pie, the lemon meringue, the apple pies. Mmm. There we go. Cut. With the Cutco trimmer. Yes, I did actually sell Cutco for a year. That's not just something that DB happened to do just so that he could afford to buy Dr. K a violin. So if anybody wants to buy some Cutco for me, let me know. He didn't actually sell it to Stolita, though. No. Well, I don't know. I, fi I figured something out. I don't know. Maybe. Time is in space or mutable things. Who cares? Mm. I hadn't fully established all the rules by which the show operates at that time. No, I mean, you didn't actually sell any to Stolito. Oh. Well, let's see, you know. I don't know. I sold like $40,000 worth of it. You don't know who I sold to. He holds several records. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm... Local ones, though. I, I, I'm, more, I'm more on the... On the I broke a record and I'm, and I'm on a scoreboard type thing. I'm a man of many talents. Occasionally lucrative, very rarely lucrative. Not really lucrative. But that was something I did for a while. So that's a little a little peek into the world of Jake and Marissa. I spent a year as a knife salesman. That was a thing. Um, so and since now, we're not going to be able to do the whole 3-2-1 I mean, start thing. Well, we um, think they'll do 3-2-1 first. Well, mm -hmm. we might not know that it's... Well, once the Nickelodeon logo flashes on there, we can go, Oh, they're going! Yeah, we can try that. Right now it's muted. What I was thinking was that maybe you could put a put it in in post. Uh, I don't know. Like oh, three, oh, oh, two, put that on there. One. Yeah, maybe. If I can time it well enough. I'm, you know, I'll, 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 we, we'll, we'll, You're gonna have a better chance doing that than we are of actually. No, I think I think we got a good chance here. But then you do it because I don't think I can. Any moment now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we got like one minute, maybe. Yeah! Chuck, e. Chuck E. Cheese's. Okay, so ever since I've started watching playthroughs of Five Nights at Freddy's, oh. I cannot view Chuck E. Cheese the same way. Oh, man. Like, that is a game I will never play, because yes. jump scares make oh, three, myself. Oh, three, two, one. Not literally. Go! Probably, maybe. I like, told you you weren't going to get it right. There, hey, I was pretty close. There it is. You can always try and sync it up with Jake yelling, it's a bomb. This is true. Here's go. And keep the inner gem safe. Sledge. It's a bomb! So there you go. We do that every time. Yeah. I'm sorry for the sound of the forks, but I'm not really sorry. Yeah, just don't talk with your mouth full. 
You don't want to subject. That's actually your ears really to easy because it like melts in your mouth. Ooh, they're at the track. That's a baseball diamond. That is. Was there a baseball diamond? Either yep. way, this is definitely a track. How did you mistake an oval for a diamond? Because it had a corner. Well, like a pointed corner. Well, yeah, that's where you start from. Huh. He is working out hard. Go to town, Riley. We got Riley doing doing some serious push-ups. Oh, he's done. He is done. He is spent. Oh, no, no, he's not. I'm sorry. Isn't he the kid from a farm? Yeah, he is. He doesn't need a workout unless he is no longer working. Oh, on look at all the cake. I'm liking... Because just like working on a farm here. isn't of itself an extreme workout. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That is so delightfully twisted. You want the worst wedding cake ever, so that it's memorable. You can come up and join us on camera, or you can. I'm there loving you go. this. Can you come? I'm not gonna lift you. Oh. What? You can join us on camera, all on your own volition, or you can not. That's up to you. <laughs> oh man, this could be the whole show. Evil cake. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, uh, this is like. You don't want to. You don't have to. It's kind of the most amazingly like absurd. Yes, I approve of the evil cake, especially for Pie Day. Is there cheese in this quiche? Probably. It tastes a little cheesy. I kind of like it. Mm. I mean, I always like quiche, but we got spinach, so I'm on like cloud nine. Mm. But hun, what what could be more perfect for Pie Day than evil cake? Evil pie. No, because this is Pie Day. Pie is the, is the goodness, and therefore we have evil cake as a counterpoint. This is fantastic. This is like this is ultimate Pie Day. I I wonder if they planned this at all. That would be amazing if they did. I think you give them too much credit. It's Judd Lynn. I'm not going to give Judd Lin too much credit. He deserves credit. He's awesome. Uh, it's not Judd Lin who's credit. I'm talking about Nickelodeon's scheduling. Fair enough. Good point. Going to town. Hey, he they did that himself. Pretty. Oh, this is another terrible. trio. This is another trio um, written episode with uh, with. Also, he is clearly doing that. Yeah. But I'm not sure that the balls are not CG. Well, still that that one-handed cartwheel thing is pretty oh, cool. Okay. <sighs> Chase does not care. Oh, reference to the previous episode. Interesting. Dude, if you want up, come up. Don't just whine. Reference. Liking, don't, liking just don't just why. Don't just why. Wow. That's why I practice. So next time, I'm ready. I approve of this referencing previous episodes here. Well, the next attack could be different. If I was you, I'd use What's your instinct like that day. Probably. So you're ready for any situation. <laughs> okay, you giving me training advice. Right. I've never seen you train. Not once. Just because I don't train the same way as you doesn't mean I don't train. I'm going out. It's like, uh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, ouch. More quiche. Dino Bite Cafe. Yeah, now I have more quiche too. What do you What? Really? Really? I mean, they work at Wait. the restaurant. Shouldn't Wait. they know that they didn't make that cake? Mm. Wait, they mentioned the gold energy. A bit tasteless. Yeah, look at all them. <laughs> Their mouths are glowing. <laughs> they totally didn't know it was the monster in the kitchen. It's amazing. Cavity looks nothing like the chef. Oh, nice. I love their Instamorphs. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good pun. I like that pun. Whew. Oh, man. They, they're they're providing American footage excuses for Japanese footage events that they don't even need to provide excuses for, but they're doing it anyway because awesome. Um, care to elaborate? Like they're they're show right now. They had him training with dot with deflecting the tennis balls with his sword, mm -hmm. and now he's putting that into practice against Cavity. Mm. It is wonderful. But how he's training isn't really an excuse for how the monster behaves. If anything, it's kind of weird coincidence that he's already training for the way the monster is going to behave in the future. Well, okay, hun, mm -hmm. this is Power Rangers. Monsters are shooting things at you all the time. It's not foreshadowing Cavity's attack. It's showing how he is able to deflect such attacks. As opposed to, you know, and this is stuff that he's been doing for repeated episodes, as opposed to, say, going out to a bamboo forest for one night and becoming the most ridiculous swordmaster ever. Magical things happen in the bamboo forests of Harwood County. This is true. This is true. Time is meaningless out there. Look, unless you can scan them into your Nintendo DS, I'm not really sure that that's Skylanders. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very entertained at the moment. Cuddlefish Aliens. Cuddlefish Aliens, the movie, was not the title they decided to go with. So last night I was watching Vine, and As I showed Jake do. this Vine of what happens when you pour soy sauce on a dead cuttlefish. Oh, that was disturbing. <laughs> that is terrible. The, the the dead cuttlefish kind of like curls in on like. It spasms. It's really disturbing. Like it looks like it's alive and in pain. It is distressing to look at. Chemistry. All right, I'm done. Actually, Frankie, you were very good. You may lick my plate. There we go. Here you go. <laughs> yep, he's happy about that. You hear him listen. Hmm. What was that, a katamari? I don't know. I wasn't looking. Oh, no, it looked like a giant gumball. Giant gumball, katamari. Fair enough. Remember when on Face Off someone got Yeti Crab, but they didn't know Yeti Crab was an actual kind of crab, so they actually made a cross between a Yeti and a crab? Yeah, and it was awesome. It was. 
I really like Face Off. Love Face Off. It's a great show. It's it's the only reality show that I actually really. I like that, into. and I like uh, Amazing Race, which yeah. I was actually watching. Had hey, to pause Cavity. to watch this. <laughs> really? Stop really, arguing guys? with each other, or you're going to get whisked away. Oh, come on. Whisked. Yes. yes, he has a whisk. Where'd he go? He, he whisked himself away. You don't know me. How much was eaten by each person, and then whether it was the cake or the frosting. And hopefully, come up with an antidote. Really? Fascinating. Victim number one. Okay. Uh, two cake bites, one frosting. Uh, victim number two. It looks like three cake bites and no frosting. Really? Why? Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? I'm cleaning up. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? No, not these. We need to figure out what's going on first. My instincts tell me that what's going on is that if you eat the cake, you get a toothache. But it's not that simple. It is that simple. We need to analyze it first. Oh, you always love to analyze things. Yes. Does he? Look. That doesn't come up. Analyze that. Oh, enough. Both of you I thought this was more of Kendall's analyzing this. until you sort hmm. this out. They are not getting along. <laughs> I love the look he just gave Kendall, like, see, I'm the good boy. And then she just looked back at it and he's like, okay, fine. Yep. I was being a tattletale. He was being a little, little, little nerdy there. <clears throat> your anger dulls your skill. Fair point. What distracts you, Riley? Just having an off day. I like to fit everything into neat categories, and my friend doesn't fit in one. Hide your true thoughts from me. It's Chase. He doesn't take anything seriously. Chase's intentions appear to be as sincere as yours, yet you judge his approach. It's all a big joke to him. That monster's on the loose, and where's Chase? He goes skateboarding. Things aren't always as they appear. Tell me this, Riley. Is it not possible? That two different paths can lead to the same destination. Maybe you and Chase aren't as different as you think. Keeper, you're like a legit mentor. At this rate, we'll never get back to testing wedding cake. When was the last time we had something like that? Never? That was one of the most legit mentor moments, like, ever. Um, maybe Doggy? I mean, Zordon was not a mentor. I mean, he told them what no, to do and no, all that, he was, but... he was a mentor in his own way. Um... I see no monster. <laughs> oh, Coda. You're getting some mileage out of that, Jeep. Skateboard. For staff. Fair enough. I think the mall. So this is planning versus intuition today? I guess so. Whoa. He is doing some damage. Oh, I didn't realize the side of it's like a little raptor face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stick, butt, ectomy. <laughs> what? Fair enough. He needs to pull the stick out of his I'll probably, I'll, you know what, I think I'll, 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 I'll bleep that one. Just why not? You're gonna bleep ass. Yeah, because I feel like it. It's my show, I can do what I want. F*** you. Exactly. I, 
think this is the first... Is this the first time we've gotten, like, a full-screen full morph? I think it might be. Because we've gotten, like, group group full morphs, but I don't think full-screen full morph we've gotten before. Yeah, see, we're not eating quiche anymore. Now he's over there on the back of the other sofa just staring at us. Yeah. He's going to town. Boom! Ouch! Oh, I would not have expected that. Ouch. Ooh. It's actually more than just a purple glow. You can see kind of little, little weird texture things on the side. Yeah. There. It's messing up his mouth, something serious. This is like... This is like that episode of Attacking the Power of Juju. You mean the one you helped animate? Yes, I did. Why does Skeletor... Can't you see? The Skeletor Brick is in love with, with the, the one thing that can destroy it. him! Who Wait, am I talking to? to? Yes, if you guys watch Attacking the Power of Juju, I once had an internship with a small animation studio that was animating Attack and the Power of Juju. They only did it for one episode before they moved it back to Cor animation services back to Korea. So if you ever see the Attack and the Power of Juju episode, The Tooth Hurts. Or not The Tooth Hurts, that's what we're watching now. This Bites. This Bites. This Bites. We're watching The Tooth Hurts. That's the name of this, this episode. This Bites. This Bites of Attack and the Power of Juju. I'm the one who made all those teeth dance around. And also the one who made the tiki head say the thing yeah. about Skeletor Breck. All right, now I didn't. Do, I didn't make all the teeth da dance around. I, I did do the walk cycles for the teeth, and I animated several group teeth shots. They were evil on dead teeth. It was crazy. Uh, it's a shame that was the only ep episode they got to animate. Red Eye Film Works. It was short lived. They. I, I was an intern with them during eight of their twelve weeks of existence. Yeah, well, their uh, it was the render farm that that screwed them, right? Yeah, because they were go they were having another company take care of like their lighting and rendering services, and they were going to move in with that company, but that company did not follow through, so they had to get their own render farm, and by the time they got all their stuff together, uh, they were already behind contract, which... That gusher terrible. just got his inner liquid sucked out at airport security. Yeah, so it was more than 3.5 ounces. He was a very large gusher. He could have been filled with explosives. You don't know. Are you filled with explosives? <laughs> oh, what's going to happen? Is the weasel going to pop? I don't know. What? <laughs> Raise the woof? What? What? Oh, what? Russell Madness. It is a pro wrestling movie about Jack Russell Terrier. Wow. Just what I thought. We are out of sports <laughs> to put dogs, dogs in the central <laughs> of Russell Mania. Kudos. Kudos. Whoever, who, whatever, like, exec thought that up. Kudos to you, sir, for keeping a dying genre alive. <laughs> dogs in the sports they don't belong in. That is a genre. Wait, wait. I, I'm sorry. Are there sports dogs do belong in? Yes. I guess dog sports? Yeah. Okay. That, yes. There's that dog sport where they get, they go up the thing and down the thing and over the okay, king totter okay, and okay, through okay, the, okay. uh, the thing. Russell Mania. That sounds amazing. And, uh, the Iditarod. You got a monkey the as your commentator? Why aren't more monkeys commentators? I want, I, I want to know the answers. To that. Do you have the answers to why more monkeys aren't commentators? I'm trying to figure out why you had absolutely no reaction to my Freddy Fazbear impression. Because <laughs> I saw it coming? Like, when I asked if you were full of explosives and you start going, doing Pop Goes the Weasel, I figure there's going to be an explosion at the end. Hey! Uh, you're not gonna destroy him. 
Why does nobody else answer their communicator? Um, they're over on the other side of town, I guess, in the car. I don't know. They still should have answered their communicator. Well, maybe they did off-screen. Who knows? Oh, there oh, they hey are. There. See? They were just right behind them. And you see, when these guys pull their random weapons out of places... It's called hammer space. It, 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 and you it, don't think about it too much, or else you start thinking that Link is storing all his shit up his butthole. It feels more appropriate when they pull their weapons out of nowhere than when the Mega Force Rangers pull their weapons out of nowhere. Why is that? Because um, in this case, their primary weapons are their morphers. And, I mean, with Riley, he got his... He got his sword out of morph from the from the first his first episode. It's it's a esta- it's an established part of the show, as opposed to in uh, Super Mega Force where they pull out their Mega Blasters after never having done that in the first season and not doing that until the eight until like halfway through the second. So toothache is a real problem when you have to call your shots. Apparently. That's a trope. Call your shots. Yeah. Calling your attacks, yes. Calling your attacks. The last rapper. Woo! I saw this really messed up video um, on Facebook yesterday. Oh, yeah. Where Cookie Monster was beating the crap. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Rangers. Chase is in some serious pain. See? Chase needs some, uh... What's that stuff you dab in your mouth when you... Kanka? Yeah. yeah or can... Ambisol! Ambisol! Yeah. That's what he needs. He needs some Ambisol. <laughs> what? Oh, I cussed. Yeah. It's like, bleep yeah! Dental care! But that you didn't do. Save it. There we go. So my best friend Molly is like incredibly bad at when it comes to dental issues. Yeah. She was driving us someplace once. I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun believing that word just because then people will be like, "What? Why would he believe that?" Which word? Okay. <laughs> so we were driving, and we were we were on our way, like, out camping for the weekend. We were going LARPing. Yeah. We were eating fast food in the car. Hmm. Hey, teamwork. <gasps> He's adapting to the situation. And somehow, during the course of eating, the crown came off her tooth at, like, mm. 55 miles per hour. Ooh. And, you know, that's an extreme amount of mouth pain to have all of a sudden when you're driving 55 yeah, miles exactly. an hour down the highway. She handled it like a pro. Boom! Just while we're on the subject of extreme dental pain. Uh, so, you can be a bad <laughs> ass with dental pain. They knocked his teeth out. Good! His teeth were magic cavity granting teeth. Granting? Causing. Yeah. You don't really grant people cavities. You wouldn't want to. I still. Yeah. I grant it to you. A cavity. <laughs> Boom! Chomp! Chomp! Was he using two yeah. batteries? Yeah, he was using uh, the Velociraptor one with his native battery. Parasaur. You're right, that is something you can't trade for. Yeah. Great, now you've lost your cook. It's hard enough planning a wedding. Magna Beam. That's true. We gotta get done. Get on some of that. <laughs> we're, we're terrible. Alright, I will talk to the photographer if you will talk to the freaking uh, yeah. officiant. Yeah, I will. Because, uh, I'll do the thing. You know, we can get married without pictures. But we can't get married without someone to marry us. True, but we were planning on using those pictures to send out invitations so that people will show up. Hey, try stego formation. (laughs) 
Hey. Every Megazord combination ever always has that little for the helmet. No, not every. Okay, every good one. <laughs> well, I mean, the original didn't, didn't have a, an extra helmet. It just had the horns flip out. Yeah, it had... Well, no, it was, it was more of a... It just kind of swung forward. I don't know, but the last thing in a morph is always, like, or, or something that makes the head into a helmet. Fair enough. Deep fry that chef. Deep fry that chef? Are we making french fries? I, hey. That's not deep frying. That's flambéing. Fair enough. Oh, oh, we got all five. What's happening? Stego is not having it, apparently. Ooh, I'm excited. What? Okay, I like the Stego saver, but I thought we were getting all five, all five swords together. You got my hopes up, Rangers! They've all been in the cockpit before when they didn't have all the swords. No! Okay, they've had more people in the cockpit than they've had swords before. Um, Cassie was in the yeah. cockpit before while her Why little... Why do you keep calling her Cassie? Shelby was in the cockpit before while her little... Triceratops yeah. was running around, not attached. True. But it, 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 was, it had just finished being attached. Like... Yeah, but she hung around the cockpit anyway, so... I'm just saying. Apparently, who's in the cockpit has very little to do with which swords are attached. I guess so. I cockpit. 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 You keep that up, I'll start believing that too. Ah, cockpit! This is a rather interesting parallel. What? What? I don't know what you're talking about. They're trying to plan a wedding? We're trying to plan a wedding? Oh, snap. I think I might just pick, like, a random word every now and again to just bleep out. No. That was adorable. Alright, training. So I guess he's not living on the ranch right now. No, because he's, he's moved to the museum. They don't live in the museum. <laughs> hey, I was wondering about that. Never mind. Hey, everybody. I mean, aside from Coda, they don't really live in the museum. Do they? Mm, well, we don't know where Taiwo lives. The first rule is no rules. I get, I get the impression that Tyler is not from from local. This is true. How can that be rule? Just use your instincts and adapt to whatever happens. Adapt. This could be dangerous. Just see if you can keep up my shot. Nice. Freestyling. I was going to say, he's going to skateboard, isn't he? Of course he will. There we go. That's not how you go for a run. That's how you go for a skate. Go, Coda! Yeah. Oh. Hey. They can all do this stuff, because why not? It's awesome. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's mostly stunt doubles. Although, uh, what to call it Definitely not back? Tyler. Well, Yoda in the... Co <laughs> Co yeah, Coda and Tyler are definitely doing their own stunts. And Which it, one's Tyler? The Red Ranger. Oh, okay. Because his, his actor's a circus performer. I believe so. Just because they can doesn't mean they are. Yeah, but that was definitely him. I mean, because we go into the whole thing with Pat Talman and how cheesed off she gets the fact that right. she's made to do her own stunts. 
sometimes get she is a stunt performer right but she's not being paid the stunt performer wage right, in right. addition to the actor wage and that's not fair i mean we know that they do have they do have something but like we could see we could see Riley's face during the chunk of his stuff. We could see while he was doing. We could his see flip-flops. we could see Coda's clearly. We could see Tyler pretty well. It was pretty clearly Tyler there. Yeah, uh, uh, Shelby. Shelby, that was that almost was cert- That was almost certainly not her. Yeah, it was probably also not Chase doing his. But uh, but still, three out of five is pretty good. <laughs> uh, what the hell have you done here? What are you talking about? Using the tums to prop up the microphone? Oh, that wasn't intentional. I just kind of put it down there. I wasn't looking at what it was resting on. Apparently, it's resting on some tums. That was a fun episode. It was a fun episode. It's a teamwork episode. I I, I feel like um, Green Ranger's issues with uh, with order kind of came out of left field. A little bit. I feel like we're going to learn a little bit more about him, though. Now now that we've had this episode. You're getting the the impression that there's there's because the fact that he had this, that whole little thing about people making assumptions about him back when he was on his family's ranch. Well, they probably assumed he was a hick. Well, uh, I think I think he may have. That's fair. Well, I wasn't sure if they were talking about other people making assumptions or his family making assumptions. Might have been both. Well, his brother did seem to think that sword play in the uh, in the barn was sort of a waste an of immature time. waste of time. Yeah. So. So I'm I'm interested in learning more about him because it's seeming like there's there's more there to learn. Like he, the fact that we're we're having layers to these characters and we we're getting the impression that there's more to learn with each of them is pretty nice. Like onions. Yes. Or ogres. Or ogres. Or pies. I didn't know Shrek. I didn't think that that has any uh, has any layers. Okay, no, this this doesn't have. This that flex. that the quiche has no layers. But I'm, I was trying to do it donkey. Has, it has. I was a, trying to do donkey, but it didn't work. Donkey is Eddie Murphy. Exactly. I wound up doing Scottish. <laughs> Why? Are you, how do you try to do an Eddie Murphy impression and come out Scottish? Because I got him confused with Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's donkey. Oh, and mate, I'm Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> I set myself up for a free meeting. <laughs> Say something to the audience. I'm, I'm, I, I, know, I, I'm trying to think. I can't cope right now. Hello. We should. I actually have. I should probably be heading out too. But but uh, you know I enjoyed that episode quite a bit. Especially all the villain stuff was a lot of fun. The monster was fun. The interaction with between you know Chase and Riley was was. It's good to get feel like we're getting layers to these characters, and this felt much more like what I wanted to see. Wanted to see more of from Chase the previous episode, mm. which is the idea that he is. He he seems lackadaisical, but he does have a method to his madness. Right. And we that was what I was expecting from his focus episode, the previous episode. And instead we got it here, which was interesting. Even though this was a little bit more of a focus episode for Green Ranger. Yeah, this was a little bit more of a Riley episode, but we had secondary focus on, on Chase. Yes, definitely. Which it was, was nice. sort of a rivalry episode. Uh, yeah. Kind of like a uh, uh, Nick Chain to... Uh, what, like, Scott, Sky and Jack? No. Nick. Nick. Oh, wait. Are you referring to Mystic Force? Mm-hmm. Nick? Or which? Or Nickelodeon Nick? What Which Nick are you referring to here? Scott! Scott and Dylan? Yeah, chained together. <sighs> you cannot keep your ranger straight, can you, right now? I remember Ziggy. You remember Ziggy, that's good. You got Scott and Nick <laughs> You like our well, okay. You like both RPM and Mystic Force, so. But you know how, you know who my least favorite ranger is in both of those series is. The Red Ranger. Yeah, they're boring. Yeah, Scott. Scott was a, a little. 
And it's not that Scott was a bad Red Ranger. It's just that there were a lot of other really good Rangers at RPM. Um, well, he was well done Sunboy, and we've seen that a zillion times. Well, yeah. And then Nick was the chosen one. Yes. But I mean, you know, you had... Serious ha baby blanket. With, with, I'm with a lot RPM, more you, had, you had, and, uh, you had and Jem and Gemma, and who, stole, who stole the show. You had, they do you had chewing Ziggy. on the scenery constantly. You had Flynn. Like, so, I uh, like, Scott's perfectly fine Red Ranger, but he's easily over overshadowed by the awesomeness of, like, most of the other Rangers. Um, although I will admit, he is the only one to use a baby carriage. The, he, he used the indestructibility of a baby carriage to his advantage. Like, think about it. Baby carriages in the Power Rangers universe are, like, dangerous. You They're see, unstoppable. When you, see, when you see a baby carriage coming your way, you get out of the way. So why not use that against your enemies? You it's like there's a robot coming at me. Look out. Look out, robot. Got a baby carriage. Woo. Gotta watch out for those baby There was carriages. a baby in that baby carriage, though. And that's, it was inside the baby carriage, so it was the safest place it could be. That's child endangerment. It's okay. It was it was Koichi's kid. He's used to doing stunts. Was it really? That was very. I believe. I believe that was Koichi Sakamoto's son as as that baby. And you did I, your first stunt when you were six months old. No, actually, I th I, I think I think uh, oh, what was it? It was it, there was. I'm probably not getting the days right, but. A quote from Koichi, I believe, went, He was born on Monday. His training starts Tuesday. Because <laughs> he's Koichi Sakamoto. Why wouldn't he do that? Uh, I'm, I'm full, of, full of happy times here. Seamus met Furbus. Seamus met Furbus this weekend, so good, good, good on him for meeting Vern Troyer and being the... <laughs> The only person, yeah, I know a lot of people are out at uh, at the Lexington Lexicon, uh, Lexicon, Lexington Toy and Comic Convention or Comic and Toy Convention because it's like LCTC. I don't know. There's a lot of ways that people turn it, but Vern They're Troyer's there, aka Furbus from Mask Rider, or some people may know him as Mini Me, and apparently Seamus was the first person ever asking about per being Furbus. Um, yeah, and over here we got, uh, we have Genericon, Genericon. so that's what you're doing. That's what I'm doing later uh, today. Later, to, later today. Want to go see Uncle Yo. Yeah, he does good stuff. And, uh, hit up the artist's alley. I'm gonna try and see if I can find places to do filming around what's going on, if I have time to do filming today. If you happen to watch this and be in the Troy area before, you know, the con closes at, like, 5 o'clock tomorrow, mm. go check out, uh... Artist Sally. I know some people down there selling some adorable stuffed brontosauruses. These sell like sweet crafts and stuff or something yeah. it's called. I forget the name yeah. of it, but I, I gotta go get myself a... Genericon is, you know, the, the annual sci-fi, fantasy, anime, gaming convention. It's generic. At, it's a generic con. Exactly. At, uh, at RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, where we both earned our extremely useful degrees. No, they're just selling out the stegosauruses and brontosauruses. They're got stegums and brontes, and they're cute, and I want one, but they were sold out last time I went. Mm. But I, I saw on Tumblr that they made, like, a zillion this year, so they'll be well-stocked. Support your local artists at Artist Alley, whatever yes, con you're at. Yes, exactly. And, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to try and find some non-alien criminal baker for our wedding. What?! You know they work cheap. Don't, don't you, are you going to tell me that an alien criminal baker is going to overcharge you? Well, actually, he probably would. That might be why he's why there's a bounty count on his head. Yeah, I got you. Got to wonder how some of these guys got arrested. It, it's like he makes he's a baker. cake that causes everyone to have toothaches. Who knows what the hell else he baked? Yeah, but that was by request. He is, he is That doesn't true mean that he didn't previously do that for somebody else. 
also, I want you to went, bake a cake that will kill my mother-in-law. Also, he went like really like, and then he did, and then someone's mother-in-law died, and he the had second to half. Go to so I don't know if like he just has like a murderous alter ego sometimes. Maybe that was, that, that was a little weird. I, I Maybe. think we were talking during that point, so we missed exactly why the changeover happened. His teeth. His teeth. And everybody remember to floss. Everybody should floss. Ta. Was that was that your goodbye? Yes. Okay, I guess we're saying goodbye then. Shouldn't we? We probably should. You have a meeting. I have a meeting to get to. Anywho, so thank you guys. We'll see you next week. I'll be doing Patreon announcement things soon. I'm sure. So yeah, very uh, soon. Yes. Until next time. Farewell, Farewell Ranger, Ranger fans, fans, and let the, the power, power protect, protect you. you. You've used the wrong arm again. Well, I was eating quiche with the other one. And cut.